welcome this your pretty will read i should just take it to the bill second it would and start with any so we should oh no so i it's a plugin and as in it's good jake again magic layer you can to your site to web power can a fair people and uh, give them and the best transitions and you create as in layer you clear out and, and so is the if you want to fight but get uh, your reactors if a job uh, if you have work to very or good as it is not the card inside as uh, another on the internet and or it and on shown that one you, you are job in your shot yeah i think now come then this want to add a new scan if you have implant animation engine and write the total library that's a different that's a different thing okay anyway so let's see as you told with isotope you can make your web application or website layout very attractive so what does that mean so come here this is an example website layout that is using isotope so you can see there are some object here but some sort of object just consider conceptually so these are being placed around here so with isotope you can easily filter them you can sort them and you can rearrange them in a different layout so let's see elements so only the element objects are here only the features type of object will be here now and if you click on examples only the example website objects will be here show all so everything is coming so this is filtering so isotope made it easy and you can see all the animations that are happening here isotope also make it made it attractive attractive and also fast if you would be writing jquery or javascript code you may have to write a lot but if you use isotope then probably you will not need to write much you just need to supply some parameters to isotope and isotope will be doing the rest and isotope has its own animation engine so that will render these animations on all those things nicely and isotope supports different types of animations its own animation engine or you can fall into the hardware acceleration hardware animation acceleration it can make use of this or it can default to jquery animation or ccss animation or javascript animation depending on the option you set and depending on whatever is available on the client side so yeah so i sort of definitely comes very handy if this type of features are required in your application and sort it is just sorting this is now alphabetical sorting it is easier to understand the alphabetical sorting you can see it layout you can see fit rows straight down okay you can so show all mixed this is the masonry layout this is the fit rows yeah it is not one row is not interfering with another but here you can see one row data is going to another straight down so this is the stuff that you can assip and one thing this all this filtering sorting and layout you can use in combination and probably you can mix and match and use the isotope capabilities and write some of your custom functions and you can find out or implement some better stuff or some other requirement anyway so whatever i was telling okay before going into further details where can you get this isotope library form from you can see in github the library is there so you can just 
download it and use it in your application so this is the isotope and they have developed the isotope and provided some be tutorial documentation and example all are here and here in just it is a dot net i have actually downloaded an example based on isotope and i will demonstrate it from there and if you the files that i downloaded if you want the same files i can show you from where you can download it from actually this isotope site this is the total stuff that i showed there so you can see here this uh, let's see find that jfile.com so these are the files that i downloaded i actually didn't did not download it exactly from here but it looks like these are the files that are being downloaded and they have provided it here i do not remember the exact location from where i downloaded it from or i didn't find the link instantly but this can be an alternative but you can say it probably is better if you can download it uh, from the developer who developed it from their site so that it can be safe and you can be more complete if you don't find that you can use it anyway so okay coming to this isotope example here so one thing that i was trying to say before that if you are good at jquery so it should not matter much whether how difficult you will find to use isotope in your application if you think that isotope is the right fit for your application and if you are good at java jquery and if you are in general good at programming so you should not panic at all it will be very straightforward so what is the basic thing you have to download the isotope library and you have to put link to this isotope library and what is the rest what you have to implement actually what isotope does is it works on a container element you can implement your container element using some html div at div tag okay and isotope assumes or works on a container element who has children of the same type and it will apply all those filtering sorting or layout on those children right so you can see here all the individual objects they will be similar children of a container that is containing them okay if you are trying to go to use isotope you definitely have an understanding of what i what a container can be so i do not need to explain it more than that so okay so as i told you have to link to the isotope library then you have to define the container element and then you have to define the children of similar type inside that container and this individual children object i'm just using this object just in a general term not to define any object in object oriented programming type or any object concept that belongs to isotope i think it's just a general english language form i could not find a better term to use here so i'm just using it don't confuse it rather just take it as a general english term right all this individual children element children object you have to define and you can define this using the html unordered list ul tag or ordered list ul tag and probably you'll be defining some sort of attributes or css class and those will be there probably if i show you some example this will make more sense so you have defined your container you have defined your children inside that container so what what you have to do to use isotope you have to call some isotope function so if you want to filter so you have to pass some parameters to that isotope function if you want to sort you have to keep you have to pass some different parameters right parameters are 
parameter value combination key value combination when you want layout to be applied then what you have to do you have to call maybe the same or different isotope function but with a different values or parameters or value parameter combination that's all about it it's not rocket science right just calling isotope function you just need to know which function to call it probably is the same thing the basic constructor or initialize function or the entry point function that you have to call and based on what you want you have to just pass the values or parameter or value combination key value pair that you have to pass that's all you have to do so there is nothing too difficult here right so let's see probably it's time to show you some example and before that And all this sorting or layout okay probably example makes better sense I will show you some example maybe one basic example one filtering example one sorting example and probably a layout example individual not everything combined then I will come to this combined application and we'll try to explain the code behind it and then probably I will also try to give some of the general concepts probably I will use some of these tutorials or documents to explain some of the isotope concept and that will be all for today so let's see on the basic demos so you can see this is a layout so we are using isotope here because we are arranging the elements in one of the isotope format that isotope can isotope supports so if we resize the window these objects rearranges them and fits with in the width of the container or the browser width right so yeah and here we are actually showing some element type air type of object I think in the container if there are many type of elements we are just showing the element type of element I think here I could say let's see I am filtering elements filtering features filtering examples how that can work let's see in all of this object in all of this object uh, you can assign a CSS class you can assign some CSS class so for you can assign element for some you can feature for some you can example and some can have all of or some of them so when somebody will be clicking here or there you can just grab all the objects that has the dot element in their class attribute right and then you can pass it to the isotope passed by saying filter dot element so it will uh, filter only the elements it's not filtering is not sorting it just out of many element it is just filtering and bringing out the selected element so if you click on features what it can do for all the objects in the class attribute if the feature is there so it will bring that so what you can do you can just call an isotope function and pass filter colon maybe in double quote or single quote dot feature so it will filter all of them and if some sorting and layouting is there it is going to be applied or isotope will use the default sorting and default layouting that's a different case right so that what is going on here so this basic I think in the code it just uh, okay one another thing is let's see item selector that is one of the isotope thing you can define which item should be displayed in this arrangement so that probably this basic example will be using and here as I show the filtering it will be using some filter key value pair filter 
element filter dot feature those type of thing anyway one thing as you can see it here that isotope gives this feature that if you resize the window it resize it rearranges the element it actually we don't call the isotope a resize function or the uh, behavior isotope does it automatically by default and this is a good thing if you are developing a mobile application so the width can vary from device to device so your application will fit within the width available so your website web application will look nice in mobile devices as well by using this by using isotope you get this advantage so come to the code basic so here the as usual HTML stuff and we're also telling if it is Internet Explorer less than 9 we're just trying to make it compatible with HTML5 actually it will be defining the tags that HTML doesn't have but HTML5 requires or the tags we are using HTML5 tags that you are using will be just creating them anyway so this is the I think in the basic.html you can see this part is still there so these are all those shit now custom layout modes it's not actually visible here custom layout mode so don't worry about it the main point is here let's see as we told I sort of works on container element so this is our container so isotope will get applied on this container here we are linking to isotope libraries this is the jquery library because isotope is based on jquery and this is the main isotope library you have to link to one thing though you need jquery 1.4 or greater to be able to use isotope so in this container what do we see what are the children element we can see in this container the children element are also div element it could be ul element probably yeah it could be so class attribute i think the filtering works with this class attribute data symbol data category number symbol name wait actually as we told these are not images these are actually let's say some css classes are applied on this div so uh, main point is and these are the similar children element with some data okay so isotope can work on them so how are isotope working let's say you know it when the document is loaded this thing works this is the jQu jquery document ready thing so container points to the object that has id container right and what we are calling container isotope method we are calling and we are providing item selector dot element so how it is working J the stuff who has dot element in their class attribute dot means class element means the exact class name so if we had uh, let's see if we remove this element from here so it will not come in the front end because we are just selecting the stuff who has element in the class attribute right so does it look very difficult probably not you are just pointing to the container element and on this container element you are calling the isotope and just mentioning options item selector element and isotope is doing the rest and the resizing thing you are not doing anything on it isotope is handling that part and you can see here options you will see item selector somewhere i believe 
you can see item selector what it does okay so we are done with basic now come to the filtering example so there are some element metal okay it is apparent that it filtered so you can see whenever we are clicking this right so what is the thing here so as I told before you have to call isotope method and supply you are filtering based on metal or based on transition or based on post transition right if you were writing isotope or similar library what you would be doing probably a generic function where you will be passing what is the operation you want filter and based on what you want the filtered so that's what is isotope is doing you will be calling isotope function and passing filter and the corresponding value so what it is these are the key for the operation and there will be values those values we can assign them in the class attribute maybe metal maybe transition maybe transition some will have some some will have others so isotope will be working on those okay let's check the code what isotope is doing not really isotope we have to like what we have to supply to isotope that's the main thing you have to do so you know on, on document load you are pointing to the container and on document load you are just showing the items that has dot element in their class attribute right and when document being loads you are finding the option sets and the corresponding option links actually these are using option sets this is the total option set option links the individual option links option sets there okay so on document load these values are being getting set and this is stuff this block of code it doesn't run at document load <coughs> you can see this will run on the click event on the option links okay option set what it is trying to find where the option set class is there so you can see option set it just uh, for what are the options to filter so the class option set and the corresponding one another attribute is dot option key filter actually we'll be passing this to isotope the key and the corresponding value dot option value this will make a key value pair will supply it to isotope and then isotope will do the rest so what your code should do on click event on click event our responsibility is to find out so based on what we will be doing the filtering we, we just need to grab this part and supply it to isotope that's our task isotope will be doing the rest so whenever we click we point to the clicked item as the dollar this and if this item is already selected we have nothing to do right it's already selected so we return from it here but if this item is not selected before doing any operation or filtering one thing we can do probably something else was selected before because this is not the item that is selected we clicked so we have to remove the selection from there and mark it as the selection so we are getting the option set and we are finding whatever is selected and we are removing that selected class from there and we are assigning this selected class to this current item so this current item is getting selected right you can see the selection and the removal the selection from the previously selected item so now our responsibility is finding item which is clicked 
so whenever it's click click we are just trying to find out data option key as this is the filtering so it will be always filter but if there are multiple stuff in our primary example that we show that it could be sort it could be filter it could be something else so that option key could be different but at this moment yeah we just have only one that option key and we are getting filter for the value of key and what is the value so whatever item we clicked we are trying to grab the value for the attr attribute that option value so let's see data option value so this is what we are after right so we'll be getting the key value pair here and then what we'll be doing we are calling isotope with the key value pair so it will be this array associative array with key filter and value whatever we clicked on and we are this is not a layout mode so this will be ignored here so okay that's how the filtering works now how does sort work so sort you can see there are two parts sort by name by symbol by number by weight by category so if we go to the let's say what were those children element that number symbol name weight okay if we go to sorting.html it's the same thing number symbol name weight so we have taken this for sorting random will just pick one of them and sort sort with that some other logic there and sort direction ascending descending okay i think this will uh, work with some isotope option like sort ascending true or false so here we have let's say uh, data option key two types of option key one is sorting and then it is sort ascending and descending it depends on how do we want uh, to implement them but let's see how they have used this there so container as usual points to the container object and when it initially loads item selector element so this gets executed whenever the document loads for the first time it's not whenever we are clicking when you are clicking the event the click function will be called but still if you come to this page they are using some sort of sorting original order sorting and sort direction by default is the ascending that is being maintained by this part and they are also working on the dot element objects only if someone didn't have dot element so in the initial they will not come up here so this part is that part so item selector we are telling item selector now whenever we click name symbol or number these things we have to tell isotope for which thing we want to we want this sorting to be done we know that this name or symbol or category random but we have to use the get uh, sort by function get sort data function and we have to supply this information to isotope and we have to extract the exact stuff that we want our sorting on so here we are just directly supplying the element attribute data symbol element attribute value if it is symbol if it is category if it is number weight or name okay so you can see element attribute all those things are there now this is like before option set and option link if we click on option link 
our task will be determining for which uh, on which item he clicked and pass the corresponding text to isotope to sort right this is the same thing like before if it is already selected return if it was not already selected remove the selection from the previous item and select the current item and here we are taking key value pair that option key it will be sort by or something similar let's see that option key sort by so when you are clicking on this so it is being sort by but when you are clicking on this we can see one more and that option key sort ascending and corresponding value we have to extract is name symbol or something and for this one true or false ascending true or ascending false isotope has a option sort ascending or true or false we can just supply it there so we are whenever it is clicked we are just grabbing the corresponding key value pair so you're just supplying to isotope and this will work when it is with the layout mode so in that case in this function um, for different types of layouts you have to just set some stuff and pass it to isotope and isotope will do the rest so i think the main thing that uses the layout or maybe we can go to layout modes <coughs> so for masonry layout these are the stuff that we will be passing to isotope okay so if it's a layout mode we do not call this we call change layout mode function it comes here and based on the layout mode clicked we just set some stuff and call isotope and isotope does the rest so that's about the examples you'll be able to use it okay i can just uh, mention some stuff from here so using isotope layout mode we know what those are filtering we know sorting we know and one thing animation engine isotope has its own animation engine by default it will try to use it and that way the animation in the layout will be smooth and faster but if it is not available on the client side it can fall into jquery animation css transformations or the basic javascript okay and options that we need to know animation engine you can also specify which animation engine you want to use best available is the recommended one otherwise these are the different options you can specify if you want something specifically or if you want best available isotope will do the rest and use the most appropriate one depending on the capabilities of the client browser animation option you can keep provide some stuff filter as we used it all the time get sort data it just going grabbing extracting the exact stuff that the sorting will work on item selector you know layout mode we already used for example layout mode masonry on layout it's just a callback function after layout mode is done it just getting called if you want to do something else sort ascending we saw it we pass it true or false for the direction thing sort by we saw it we used dot metal or something transformation transform if you want css the transforms enabled or not so there are some options that you can configure it can be by default configuration or on particular specific event you can make use of these options so yeah, I would say this can be sufficient to start working with isotope and make some exciting animation on your web application. 
hope this will be beneficial and this all for today have a good night and good luck with your project thank you bye